This is my uh, attempt to build, put an electric supercharger on my Honda S2000. And these are the parts that I've got. I've got a Rotrex C3094, which should be about the right size to boost the Honda from 240 to about 350 horsepower. Uh, it puts this thing pretty much in the sweet spot of the blower map at the max power. I've got a uh, 100 volt, 250 amp speed controller. This is a free RC motor, so 120, 100, or 100, 120, I forget. It's 100 by 120. And this motor, they don't give you enough data for your RC hobby. But I think this is going to generate the 12 horsepower at six to 7,000 RPM that I need. I think I'm going to be running around 65 to 70 volts at 150 amps or so. I don't know for sure because they don't give you all the data on the motor, but that's my best estimate. 20S worth of batteries. And this piece of cardboard here represents the space in the trunk I have to put this thing. It's going to fit um, where the tools used to be, like a spare tire area, but it's a little smaller than that. So it'll be aluminum plate, probably a plywood base. Um, and this will fit right in that little space I have and my golf clubs will still fit across the top because this will be recessed and this will all be slightly below the main level of the trunk. This will shoot out a hole in that motor well, go under the car to the charge piping. I plan to direct drive this thing. Um, probably going to put some studs sticking out of here a little bit six make an aluminum piece that goes on there with six holes in it so that those studs will slide into that six holes in this piece here and fit and lock them together with a little bit of play you don't want to hard mount this stuff because it'll bind if you have any misalignment but I think that will give me something kind of like what Alex uh, LTT did. He did a, a socket and a nut. This will be a similar arrangement. And I'm probably going to end up cutting this, this shaft off and getting these things closer together. But for right now, I'm going to build an attachment that doesn't cut that off. These motors mount here. The supercharger mounts here. That'll be an, an aluminum plate that they'll mount to. An aluminum plate here. I got some half inch aluminum. This bracket will go away. And there'll be quarter inch aluminum here and here. So this thing will be in a box, an aluminum box. Aluminum on the bottom, aluminum on the sides, half inch aluminum here. And that'll make a box of aluminum all bolted together that will hopefully be secure enough to keep this thing from moving around tight enough. Air filter will go over here, be a little tight. Um, this motor has got cooling holes in it, right there. Those holes go straight through the motor and come out. If you look in there, you see those holes down in there. And I, uh, I tested that, I got a leaf blower and blasted air into this thing with a leaf blower and man the air came blasting out of here like crazy so i think for cooling i'm going to try to put a fan on this shaft so the motor will drive its own cooling fan and blow air through a shroud back through here we'll see if that works if that doesn't work i can put a fan over here and, and blast through that way so that's about all of this I, i'm doing all this I'm putting it in the trunk because up front I ran out of room to do this plus an intercooler. I really want to do an intercooler. And the only place I found for the batteries and the speed controller were hot areas. I just didn't want to put these lipos in a hot area. Um, I thought about using LTO batteries. They're safer. But uh, an LTO battery would, would weigh 20 pounds more than these lipos. And... and Honda S2000 is a light car. I didn't want to add 20 pounds. I'm already adding quite a bit. So this is going to go in the trunk. And it's 
The whole thing is going to fit on a piece of aluminum and plywood with a box around it. And um, I did a, um, a spreadsheet real quick, kind of analyzing it. I'm a retired engineer, so I overanalyze anything, everything. And I put in the blower map numbers and the Honda, stock Honda numbers and intercooler data. And I kind of calculate the delta temperatures, how hot the air is going to be, how much boost I get, mass airflow, and the engine power, you know, 240 to about 330. And this is the horsepower that the electric motor needs to generate to do that. This kind of shows stock power. Yeah, I'm not claiming this is all perfect but it, it kind of gives you an idea here's the trunk there's the well that's all going to go into it's going to fit down here the top of everything is going to be about even with this so there'll still be room for my golf clubs over the top the charge pipe will go down through a hole here under the car um, under the car there is a frame rail that goes along there, and I'm going to do a two and a half inch aluminum pipe along that frame rail. It'll be six, two, two, three foot long sections held with rubber couplings at either end. It's going to hang down about a half inch below the bottom of the car. If I hit anything, uh, it's just two cheap three foot sections of pipe held in with rubber couples. So I can just pop it out, pop a new one in. And then it's going to come up. I got a piece of hose here kind of showing where it's going to come through a little tight by the steering rack and then it's, the air has got to get up to here so I got plenty of room for an intercooler I bought this uh, BMW intercooler off of eBay it was very very cheap and it just fits in there perfect you know and the problem is I think it's too small it's a water to air but it fits in there beautifully it was really really cheap Actually, I bought two of them, the left and the right one, for 75 bucks delivered. My concern is it might be a little too small, but it'd be, uh, I use it for my first try. It turns out that this charge piping and the intercooler, any pressure drop in that reduces the performance of the system. So if you want, say, 6 PSI at the throttle body, and you have a PSI drop in the piping in the intercooler, you got to generate 7 PSI at the supercharger, and that takes more power from the electric motor. So 7 PSI at the motor versus 6 PSI of the motor takes 7, 6 more horsepower from the motor. So the um, more pressure drop I have, the harder the electric motor works. Of course, that's one of the main things we're trying to minimize with the electric supercharger. But I think two and a half inch pipe, this is not two and a half inch pipe, will have a pretty low pressure drop if I can deal with the restrictions around the steering rack. And I need the intercooler. I'm hoping to hold that to less, all to less than a one PSI. We'll see how well that works. But that's about it. There'll be more coming. Please give me any comments about anything you think that I'm doing that's not realistic. And in the next week or so, I should start having some actual test data once I start putting this stuff together. Thanks for watching.